Hello, welcome back. This is my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. Um, I believe this is part 19. I have just defeated the uh, Demon Fire Sage, and I'm making my way to the one shortcut of elevator that will take me directly to the Bit of Chaos Bonfire, and also to unlock a door that will give me the one item I need to advance in Solaris quest line. I'll grab the soul item that these three things were guarding. And screw up very, very badly. Oh boy. As many times as I play this game, I've never been able to get through it without dying at least once. I've come close a couple of times, but no cigar. I nice see about this elevator is always just I was right back there. Really, uh, with a lot of elevators, I had to pull a lever for it to come up to me, but it always just kind of goes to where I am on its own automatically, which is very convenient. One soul item over there that I want that I want to grab. Of Soul Brave Warrior. I believe that one is worth 5,000 souls. At this point, it's basically a chump change, but. I ended up with a bunch of others, and it's not bad. So, this dead end over here. This is the doorway that I had to offer that all that humanity to that one spider lady for, for the Covenant. Now I just gotta get rid of a couple of these guys, and I have the sunlight maggot, and that's all I needed. Initially, I, I only had to talk to Solaire on two more occasions, and that will be it. I'll be able to use, him, I'll be able to have him as an option for a summon for the final boss fight. Looking at soul items. Trying to level up a couple of times before the actual boss light begins. One more soul item over here. Actually, nope, I'm skipping it. Okay. <laughs> Over there on my left is a summon sign. That's Solaire again, but I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna bother summoning him. Sorry, no cutscene. I go up and I grab. Oh well. And no damage. If you spam the attack and defense buttons, you know, the bumpers and triggers, you can get away from that grab attack without taking much damage. In my, in my case, not any at all.
And down goes the centipede demon. Look at the symbol of average for the 20% extra souls, and that's that. That ring I got off of him. The orange charred ring that will allow me to walk on the lava and take less damage. One thing about the, the lava to note is that it slowly eats away at your armor, so having the repair box or playing around without armor while you're going through the lava is, is a must. Doorway is straight over here. You'll see the, the amount of durability that's taken once I get to a bonfire and repair my armor. Because it's considerable to say the least. Level up once and off we go again. I'm not going to tackle the next boss in this video, but in the next video I will. It is the Bed of Chaos, otherwise known as the Witch of Izalith, which uh, Frant told me about, one of the Lord Souls that I had to, I had to fill the Lord Vessel with in order to open that door to reach the final boss. After this boss there's Cease the Scalus, Grave Lord Nido, the Four Kings, and the bosses in Ul in Ulusil, or the DLC otherwise. All the bosses in the DLC are optional, but they're all my favorites in the game, so I absolutely will go fight them. But I always get the the non-optional Lord Souls first, just because. Well, it's because I have to. That uh, soul item that I picked up out of the that chest, the soul of a great hero. If you pop that soul, it, it gives you twenty thousand. 